experts warn of nightmare internet filling with infinite AI generated propaganda. What is real? I was watching a clip on YouTube, an argument against AI generated art. It must have been suggested to you, this clip. Well, okay. I don't know if you clicked on it or not, but it's, it's a guy making the case uh, for why artists shouldn't let this happen and how they're way too soft and how it's the way that the AI is being trained is based on all their work. Mm-hmm. All their, it was like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yep, makes well, sense. you're an artist yourself. So anyway, uh, it's kind of like in other businesses, like the, and it's different. It's different. It's always different and new, more nuanced. But uh, obviously sometimes you have to, in order to talk about something, you have to define it in a certain way. Well, you said it right, where it's kind of like in music, it's like samples. That was the closest I could come. But the difference being in the music business, big money history, big record labels, they all went in there and did that. Yep. They all went in there and said, uh, would you like to meet our lawyers? Uh-huh. And it's not on a case-by-case basis. Now, when you think of like fine art or photography or something, it's a little bit more makeshift. And it's a lot of independent contractors and most of them don't have teams of lawyers, right? They might send a message themselves. They might be, it might be impossible for them to really patrol this thing. And the scale of it is just astronomical. The data sets that already exist in these things, mm. the number of images that have been crawled and are now contributing to these AI image generation tools. Every brush stroke. Oh, anyone has ever made my God. And then what are we doing? We're all just regurgitating from the same set of assets for the future of mankind. Because guess what? What art artist is going to be interested in creating anything when there's no avenue to make a to make it a profession when everybody is just happy with remixing the current set of assets? Mm. And then who knows, maybe the new set of assets becomes just a bunch of AI generated hash browns. Do you know what I'm saying? So they rehash and then they go, well, this is what an elephant is now. And then it's some weird uh, variety of that over and over again. And like, I don't know, dude, I don't know. It's, It's a nearly impossible and vast thing to tackle. But you can you can certainly imagine ways in which it becomes a somewhat terrifying place. If we've got AI that's generating all of our text, all of our images, all of our data, what's a lot of responsibility, dude? Yeah, what's real anymore? It's a lot of responsibility. And does it make us easier to manipulate in some way? I don't know. Where Definitely. I don't know. For society, these developments bring a new set of concerns. The prospect of highly scalable and perhaps even highly persuasive campaigns by those seeking to convert, con- covertly influence public opinion. The scale, the speed, the pace, so much different than what humans are capable of. Mm-hmm. You could spit out boatloads of information so something absolutely has to seem true because it's hitting you from every angle. Mm-hmm. At a pace that a human is simply incapable of. These yeah. tools are... And who gets the credit? Tremendous tools. Well, Like or, even the generators. Even on the flip side of that, who gets the credit or who gets the blame? Yeah. They're, oh, it's not us. We didn't... Couldn't be us. Mm. You're just looking at hash browns, not potatoes. Mm. This is... And by the way, the, the, the thing about this one is the speed for sure. Because we went from... Oh, AI, what? To, whoa. It's here now. We went from yeah. that to that in like a couple of years. Uh-huh. So anyway, just some concerns. That's all. Okay. That is all. Okay.